Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I promised you guys a little update on the horror shelf now that Mr. Leatherface, the pretty woman version by Sideshow is here and that's all thanks to Mr. Chris Barker. Check out the review for this piece on the channel and a massive thank you again to Chris for sending this piece along, man. Can't thank you enough, Chris, if you're watching. Thank you, sir. And yeah, man, it's, it's a hell of a lineup. Let's uh, we'll go down the line. I've changed a few poses. There's Art the Clown with his gun. And 78 Myers is looking good. Little tweak on the Pennywise pose. I still can't bring myself to change this head sculpt. I just think that's the one. I just love that one. And got Freddy, 2018 Myers. Can't wait for Halloween Kills Myers to come out. And H2 Myers from Trick or Treat Studios. There's the Trick or Treat Studios clean version of Art the Clown. There's some Rob Zombie, Michael Myers action. There are two absolute beasts right there. We got the hobo and the nightmare sequence Myers, both from Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. And then the big guy on the end, Pumpkinhead from Irene and Mark. Little Sam down there. Still need to, well, I don't need to, but still thinking about repainting this one day. It's kind of, you know, it's not, <laughs> it'll be a while before I get around to doing it, but I will do it one day. And let's just, we'll start down here and we'll work our way down the line. But an absolutely monstrous piece here. Very much a custom figure. Big basketball player body, so he's huge. The one's customs head sculpt, which is absolutely insane. The gory side is kind of hidden by the shadows there, so we'll just turn him a little bit so you can see that. Amazing detail there. He's got his axe. And then the hobo. With the amazing knife by Shadow Fergo. That knife is insane. Real metal. Very sharp. Another one's customs head sculpt there. That's one of my favorites by him. Maybe my favorite full stop when it comes to one's customs. I mean, it's ridiculous because he's done so much since then, but just love those two. You can say what you want about the movies, I like them, but one of the most terrifying Michael Myers to ever hit the screen. Still the one that I would least like to have coming after me. There's no stopping this one. And Art the Clown. He made his trash bag. Made this one into a totally clean version. Repainted the head. It's a nice piece right there. Very nice to have Art the Clown amongst the icons here. And 2018 Michael Myers. Kind of half custom, half Trick or Treat Studios. Well, the only thing that's Trick or Treat Studios is the head and the hands. Everything else is custom. I did repaint the head. And that's such an accurate looking mask. I love the sculpted hair on that. He's a hell of a presence. And Freddy, who you've seen a bunch of times, just tweak the pose on him a little bit. He's got this nice custom sweater and new pants. And a different hat. Touched up the paint job on the head and the neck and the hands. He's got his little doll. Some cool pieces right there. Mr. Pennywise. Now this kind of lunging forward pose is very scary with these intense eyes. It's just amazing. Makes such a difference raising up that collar and weathering the outfit. And a really cool effect on the piece. And this Chucky had to fit Chucky in somewhere. Can't have a horror icon shelf without Chucky. Got the balloon. Sticking out the top of the box. And then on to the newest arrival. Again, thanks to Chris Barker, we got the Pretty Woman Leather Face, which you got to display him in this kind of just manic swirling around that chainsaw chasing after that poor girl. Absolutely love this piece, really enjoyed reviewing it. Check out the review if you haven't seen it yet, but just an absolutely awesome piece. Like I said in the review, probably the best 
sideshow horror figure to date. Just look at that guy. Love the box artwork too. So a great addition to the collection. All thanks to a member of the community. An awesome community it is. There's a 78 Myers. The repainted Tot's head. Young silk coveralls that have been dyed. Nice boots. Shadow Fergo, real metal and wood knife. Well, to say before we carry on down the line, I really wanted to include the alien from you know, the original alien movie. The only reason I can't is because his box is way too long and tall. It's a lot longer than your average box, so if even if I put it or anywhere I put it on this shelf, it's going to overlap the framed pictures. It would, you know, distort the view. Now, it's a horror movie in space, uh, sci-fi horror, I guess you'd call it. So I really would like to have him up there and I'd also like to have the original Jungle Hunter Predator even though I know Predator is not a horror film it's more of a sci-fi action I guess but you know people getting their spines ripped out and skinned it, you know pretty much qualifies as horror to me so I would like to try and get them up there with the rest of them someday Predator's box will work okay but the big chap definitely won't so that's gonna cause a problem so yeah, it would be nice to get the Predators up there. There's Mando, Mandalorian. There's Jura Steel Armor. There's Ghost Face. Yeah, he's got a custom knife by Shadow Fogo as well. Real metal, very shiny. Did a little mod with the hood to get it to kind of widen out a little bit. Still not exactly the way I want it. But I'll figure that out in time. It's a great piece from Sideshow, probably the second best horror figure Sideshow have made. Went straight out of the box, really good piece. Still haven't seen the newer Scream movie, but I'll see that once it comes out to buy. I'll get it on Blu-ray, give it a watch. And then here's Jason. And he also has custom metal machete from Shadow Fergo on Instagram. That's a nice piece. Art the Clown, pointing his gun, and he's the only horror icon on the shelf that is wielding a gun, so that makes him a bit different here. And we've got his bloody hacksaw and a knife stuck into the wooden floor, the base. And this is the bloody version that I did myself. Really enjoyed making this guy look this way. Look at all the stains of blood on the sort of head wrap or mask or whatever you call that bit that goes around his head. And a bit of trouble with the focus. Let me zoom in for you. Yeah, he's really nasty looking. Ugh. <laughs> That's pretty intense. Let's check out from the side. Yeah, he yeah, is very nice to have a bloody art. A clean art. And then another 78 Myers, completely custom. Yunsil, final run coveralls. Madberg version 2, custom head sculpt, painted and haired by Silent Surfer. And another knife by Shadow Fergo. Very movie accurate boots. It's probably the most accurate 78 Myers in the collection. It's worth a fair bit of money right there. Absolute. It's a grail. And then we have Pinhead. Thanks to Mr. Steve Rinks. Hope you're watching Steve. Thank you very much, sir, for bringing Pinhead to the collection. 
This is my favourite of the two that he sent along. I've got the 3.0 version down here, which I do love, but I just prefer this one. The Mezco. That likeness is absolutely dead on. Did some repainting on this, on the outfit. Turned out nice. And then we have the 3.0 leather face. And I still really love this one. I might rehair it at one point in time, you know, we'll see. I'm not 100% satisfied with the hair on this, so maybe. I'd need to find the right kind of hair. It's, the hair's quite thick, from what I can tell in the movie. Uh, not too thick, but I will need to find the right kind. But that's a project for another day. But he's a fair bit more bloody than the sideshow one that I just recently got, thanks to Chris. And then you've got the big one of a kind statue of Art the Clown by Candlelight Corner on Instagram. And that is a very, very special piece right there. Very unique. And she said she wouldn't be doing anything this scale again because it was too much trouble. <laughs> so I saw that on eBay and it was a bidding war and I managed to get it in the end. But that bloody Art the Clown pointing the gun is kind of a highlight on the shelf right now. I almost forgot to mention I am doing a top 10 one six scale figures in the collection countdown video very soon guys I'm working on that top 10 and it will include everything one six scale in the collection it can be stock figures that haven't been modified or completely custom figures whatever the case may be uh, everything one six scale stands a chance of making it into the top 10 it's very difficult because don't forget you've got the other side of the room here as well with all the comic book stuff DC a few video game bits and pieces, but obviously some of these are going to make it in as well. So keep it locked on the channel for the top 10 one six scale figures in the collection countdown video coming up real soon. So just for fun, you can let me know uh, what your favorite figure on this shelf is. Which one do you think looks the best? Which one do you think the most you know accurate or maybe the top three that you like? I just like to hear from you guys, it's fun reading the comments. But it worked out nice. I thought it would be tricky fitting in the new leather face because it was already quite crammed, but you can see there's still quite a bit of space between each box. So it worked out quite nicely. Other little bits and pieces. Just got my Pennywise base over here. You have to have it somewhere for people to see because it's so awesome. And there's the H40 mask. I am working on three, well, not working on them, but I've had them in the garage for about four weeks now, but they're all about 80% done. I've got a H40 mask for sale that I've reworked, rehaired, repainted. Uh, about 80% done. Still need to do some of the discoloration like on this one. And I've also got two Halloween Kills masks, about 80% done. So keep an eye on Instagram or get in touch with me on Instagram or Facebook if you want to reserve one of the copies because they usually sell pretty quick. I've just been so busy doing videos on the channel. Um, I just really got into making videos again. I mean, I always have been for like 15 years now, non-stop making videos, but I really just uh, found a new found enthusiasm for doing it recently. So just been pumping out the vids. There's all the turtles. They're absolutely amazing. I love those figures. My little Toy Story section. Look at that. There's some beautiful stuff right there. Vampirella. Werewolf section shrunk a little bit to fit in Mando. And that's it for now, folks. But thank you for being such a great community thank you for all the subscribers and just supporting the channel and just interacting with the videos dropping a like and leaving me a comment and chatting amongst yourselves it's always nice to see look at those two god damn such a freaky looking Myers I love the discoloration on that look at that evil and the hair as well and the beard coming out underneath the mask all the weathering all the layers 
dried in blood sleeping bag at the back forget about it man this is ridiculous and that knife I do love those two all right man cannot wait for the new mars <laughs> i just really want halloween kills mars to come out looking forward to that one i'll be doing a nice early review on the trick-or-treat studios uh, Michael Myers from Halloween Kills and the Halloween 2 Michael Myers. Nice early reviews on the channel. Thanks to the awesome folks at Mad About Horror. So look out for that as soon as they get released. Alright, it's hard to stop filming this stuff. I should have wrapped up the video like three minutes ago, but I just love filming them and sharing with you guys. It's a lot of fun. All right, let's hit it from a couple of angles here. Back on up. All right, that's it. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram at Dean Knight Free Free Free, and don't forget, like I said, I've got three masks almost finished and ready for sale so you can message me if you're interested in that all right i'll see you soon take it easy bye bye